Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be just crocheting with me. Like I'm not even going to label it as orders or something. It's just whatever we can get our hands on. I am finishing this order that I had in the last vlog, crochet orders with me. So this is one of the ears. I got the head done and the body done. So I need two arms, um, two arms, one ear, so in a in border that's literally it so it shouldn't take long um the only reason i just got done with the first ear is because i woke up late and like i was working on it last night but then i was spending time with my husband before he went to bed to go to work early in the morning so um and we just unexpectedly fell asleep so now i'm being like honest here like we did i was comfortable <laughs> all right so we're gonna start on the second ear and i'm gonna put it in a time lapse because i'm gonna be watching a crochet video from let me see the video um made by manda mal so i'm going to have that playing while I'm crocheting because I'm trying to catch up on my crocheters. I like to support them because crocheting community, it supports each other. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, see y'all in a second. Fio in the act. He's just chilling. He is literally living his best life. Um, Fio, we don't get on dad's desk. But yeah, I caught him in the act. Hey guys, it is Saturday around 10 30. And I finished the cinnamon roll inspired plush on live on TikTok. And this might be one of the biggest things I've ever made. Hold on. Just creating suspense here. All right, let me show you. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Da -da -da -da! Cinnamon roll inspired plush. Please don't call. Please don't, I don't want to get copyrighted. Look how freaking adorable this is. I made sure it was even. When it even got blush on it. What? Look at that detail. Oh, I so love it. Um, it took me about over an hour and a half to get it just crocheted arms the rest of the way, sew it on and embroider, and so we had a nice long live, and y'all love it. Y'all absolutely love it. So I'm probably going to take brand pictures, take it with me before while I'm going to Walmart. Um, just have it sit in the car just because you got to take photos, and I don't want to go back upstairs to take it upstairs. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit if i end up crushing anything i need to go to walmart so i can get um some stuff for some lunch because my husband's all the way in north carolina right now helping a friend if you don't know we're based in south carolina so that's a long time so he's helping a friend right now that's in desperate need so i'm gonna make him lunch so he has food while he's when he comes back so wish me luck Hey guys, um, it's currently Monday. It's about almost 12 o'clock and I've been in my over the weekend, but I want to show you what I did. So I don't think I've shown you before. If I did, I'm sorry, but I made cinnamon roll on my TikTok live. It's for a customer and we're going to go ahead and bag it because I got the bag. I didn't have a bag big enough for this. So we're going to wrap it and see if we can make it aesthetically pleasing so make it an experience for them to actually enjoy it but we also got to write up a care a care tag and thank you and all that so let's get to work 
guys, seeing day we had, it's still going on technically, but I got my gifts early for my job and we got a nurse gifted us these pins and I'm in love because usually mine smears, but also this one is multicolored. Like I love it. It's got purple, um, blue, it's got all that. So I'm probably going to use purple because pink for the care card. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully it doesn't smears and I can write it very neatly. So I'm going to get off of here, write it down, and write the thank you card and tell you my thoughts about it. Guys, I chose this thank you card design because I got multiple designs off of Amazon. And I just think it matches with the entire theme of the show. But also, it's pretty. I love it. All right. Um, I went ahead and wrote the care card and it's not smearing and it looks really, really good. Let me show y'all if it will focus. Will it focus? That's how it looks. I think it looks neat. It's not smearing, which is a big problem with me because somehow my gel, my very good pens I use for work, it either smears or gets on my hand, but this one does not. So thank you to the nurse that gave it to me um, at my job. I love it, especially as a small business owner. And when I see her Wednesday, I'm gonna literally tell her like, I know I already said thank you, but like, this is the best pen I've ever had. So tell me where you got it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna write this thank you note and hopefully um, I'll have the rest of the money from this order literally today. Cause I'm just gonna go into work early and drop it off. So I'm gonna drop it off to the customer to the customer because they work on my unit. But I have to bring this up first because it's very, very big. <laughs> All right, um, I'll see y'all guys in just a second. I wrote the thank you card, so I don't have a big enough clear sealable bag to put this in, so I'm literally just gonna put the plushie right here into the bag and then put tissue paper on. Um, I hope they'll actually like see the thank you card because I hand it myself, so yeah. All right, let's get to putting the plushie in the bag. I don't have any light blue. However, I really want to use like um, kind of a blue color. So I'm using this mint color. Um, I'm hopefully to get a big pack of assorted tissue paper because I go through a lot. But this is what we got to do for right now. So the plushie's already in there. And if you wonder how I do, I literally just Make it to where I layer it on top so you don't see it. And I think I gotta turn it around. This plushie is more wide than it is in height. So this bag still barely fits the plushie. Now I just gotta get some twine and put this around the little ribbon because I like to do that so they can actually see there's a care card and please take care of the plushie because I put in all the hours of work. So all I gotta do is just cut a piece of twine and put it right here. All right, see y'all guys in a minute. All right guys, I want to go ahead and tell you what the big announcement is going to be for August. So if I don't like if I don't post much, it's gonna, it's because I'm going to be on a trip in August, like literally for half of August, I think, or no, for a week in August. But one, also another day is going to be about um, getting some photo shoots done. So I got to probably work a little bit more on my CNA job unless I get a good amount in orders from in less than a month to try to dry clean my wedding dress. And if y'all know any tips to dry clean your own wedding dress at home, please let me know. Because me and my husband are going to go back into our wedding attire for a few of the photos because I paid extra to have extra time to change into those clothes because 
I want to be able to like reminisce on that day. Um, I have a little bit of wedding regrets on my photographer because I was trying to save money and I tried to get a free photographer and that was not the best deal. So that is the reason why I wanted to get my wedding tire cleaned. Um, well, really my wedding dress cleaned so I can wear it again on August 6th because that's the day I'm going to get photos done that evening. So hopefully it's cooled down a little bit. But if y'all know anything, please leave it down in the comments. Help a girl out because it's 200 plus dollars. Not probably not even counting the work or taxes to get it dry cleaned. And your girl ain't got that money. But she wants to have that dress cleaned. Because I feel like I, I didn't clean it afterwards because we were so tight on money at the point and we're still tight on money but for different reasons so yeah it's it's been it's in this closet and it's in a bag so it's not like exposed to dirt it's just from the day of so it's gonna be a little bit harder to get out however I'm gonna try to it's been less than a year at this point so let's see if I can I know how to steam so that's no, that's no problem. Steam my veil, steam my dress. I just need to know how to get the dirt off. And it's literally not that much, thankfully, because my husband, even in 90 degree South Carolina heat, he was carrying my dress, the back of the dress. So he did what he could to save that dress. And I'm saving that dress for forever. Um, I'm kind of trying to maintain my weight to be able to fit in the dress but it's got a little bit more room than what I expected even with it being altered when I had it on the day of I still had a little bit more room and I'm about the weight same weight that I am now but I'm trying to lose weight a little bit not too much but a little bit because I had anorexia um probably seven to eight years ago close to nine years ago and I don't want to relapse. So I've been good on not relapsing. All right, on to it. Since we got a trip for about a week or six, seven days, I have to get some clothes and I decided to crochet some clothes because crocheting helps me relieve stress and playing a trip always creates stress. Now, one of these colors is not for the, it's not for the outfits. I have an idea. So these, this two, these two skeins of purple, which is like the same color, almost the same color as my bridesmaid's dresses. I'm going to try to recreate my wedding bouquet. Yeah. Um, I got to find another royal blue co light color for cotton yarn. Because I prefer to be in cotton yarn rather than acrylic for my wedding bouquet. Um, I didn't get a chance to preserve my wedding bouquet because, again, we were tying on money. So, hopefully, this will help me keep it lasting forever. And we did a mix of real for my bouquet, but fake flowers for the bridesmaids and the uh, centerpieces. So we really didn't have that much to preserve. However, my husband did a DIY epoch epoxy um, dinner set that we keep at our table at all times. However, we should have had it professionally preserved. So that's also another thing I, re I regret. However, it's over with. It's done with. So I'm going to probably do this. Color. And I know I have some white and I did have four white roses for my four lost ones. My grandfather, my grandmother, my great aunt. And no, no, I had three. Yeah, not, th not four, three. My grandmother, my great aunt, my grandfather. So, yeah. All right. But also, lastly, this is for a clothes. I just don't know what colors I want to do yet. 
So I don't know if I want to get this color. It's in light blue and peaches and cream. Peaches and cream is my favorite. Um, it's my favorite con yarns besides Lily. The Lily's yarn. Ooh, that just flew. All right. I don't. I have a couple outfits I want to make for myself. I know one of those colors I really want to make in light purple, which I have one skein of somewhere in here, but one dress would be with like hopefully half white half light purple another one is going to be a beach bathing suit cover which i might do this color in. that might actually be a good idea but i also want to save a little bit for um my top i'm gonna to make i have a granny square top pet pattern that's not my pattern but i forgot who the offer is like normal and I'm probably going to use some of this for the flower because I think it's like a flower pattern for the granny square. So, yeah, I think that would be cute with um, a light purple in this light blue with white. So, and I also have another, another outfit that I'm going to make. I'm being very, very, I think I got like three or four outfits I want to make. And the last one is like um, a slit dress. I found it on Etsy, I paid. And I was really, really wanting it. So let's see if that happens. But that would mean the other half of June will literally be, I gotta crunch down this to-do list. And the other half of June is create um, crochet outfits. And then like half of July would be like preparing for my big pop-up. So that's the plan. So, that's all I got really but hopefully we get enough orders to pay the rest of the photographer fee um, for the wedding anniversary shoot and hopefully we get enough to sustain my business for the month of July which hopefully that pop-up will help so that's probably the plans for the last half of summer I'm sorry if it's not going to be a lot of orders, but there may be, I don't know. Um, I may just pick up some orders every now and then, but I have to like prioritize also what I want so I can keep for myself. So yeah. All right. Um, this is going to be a long clip. So I'm going to end this clip off of here and I will probably update you tomorrow either by working on an order or working on the temperature blanket just by crocheting really this is the goal but I really want to crochet my temperature blanket because we're so far behind still always and we are going to introduce a new color in that temperature blanket so yeah all right I will see y'all guys tomorrow bye guys it's Tuesday around like 12 almost one o'clock and I want to show you something that's not crochet related but might help me in my videos look I got this stand off a of TikTok shop. I don't normally use TikTok shop, but this, oh my gosh, I love it. We are making upgrades, 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 upgrades. And guys, when I delivered a cinnamon roll to my work, oh my gosh, the customer loved it. So, and everybody else loved it. So, I was glad they loved it. I'm glad that I got the rest of the money from the order and all that. Either way, I would have gotten the rest of the money because I'm not going to give you it if you don't. Um, but besides that, it's like, yeah. And this one is so easy. You could change lights, but when you want it off, all you got to do is hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And I got the white one because it's aesthetic. And I normally like have my phone sideways when I record. So I'm going to have to just use one. However, when I use TikToks or do a YouTube tutorial, that'd be great. I love it. I personally love it. So TikTok shop, 10 out of 10. Let's hope I can get some YouTube videos because I know one person says, how do you change um how you make a knot within the yarn 
and all that to make one skein when I was doing the um, winding up yarn video. So I have to show that in a short probably. But we are one subscriber away from 200 subscribers as of right now. Like, guys, guys. My mind is blown away. My heart is full. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. I'm probably going to grab a um, project with me while I'm finished with the rest of the laundry. Because I got one load in the wash, one load in the dryer. And I got another load to wash. So, I got to head out. I just wanted to come up here for a minute because it's hot as heck 87 degrees and i wanted to get this because i knew it delivered yesterday and i couldn't get to it because i was at work when it delivered so yeah probably my husband might use that but this is going to pay for itself it was like probably 15 20 dollars at the most i don't even remember but yeah all right guys i will probably see y'all either in a little bit when i grab a project they bring with me or later on tonight when I work on my temperature blanket because it's feeling lonely. All right, see y'all guys in a minute. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna get any better quality than this. Okay, okay. So I'm working on this donation blanket because um, I've been so behind on this as well. And it was just, it hasn't been that far long enough to where I can just barely port it around. I mean, it took a lot of space in my bag, but it's okay. I know um, I probably excited y'all a little bit yesterday when I bought some cotton yarn for my outfits. However, right now I need to wait till my husband can measure me so I can have the right measurements. Because I think there's one dress where I need the neck measurement so I can half it and chain it like that. Um, I don't know how well that first pattern is going to go. So, yeah. I know I'm probably gonna need some more light purple with that one. Um, but I got a lot of white and or like a cream color. I think that would look pretty too, either one. I So that's the only reason why I'm not working on it. <sighs> I'm so excited for that um that light because sometimes depending on the day my lighting in that um in my spare bedroom literally will not have like good lighting. However, um that will help. Sorry if you hear a puppy whine in the background. Some crappy dog owner got their dog leashed up to a fence. And if I, oh, makes, breaks my heart. Sorry, I literally see in the camera. It's like yelping, like I want to be petted. I cannot enter another person's yard. Okay, so I'm gonna crochet on this and also edit the video as far as long as we got. And then I will probably put a time lapse of me working on it. Cause it's gonna take about another, at least two hours. No, yeah, two hours for laundry, so. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, almost 8 o'clock in the morning, and I worked on my temperature blanket last night, and I got about, I think, four days done. Let me double check. No, three. I was wrong. Three days. We're on the fourth day right now, which is May 11th. I told you I was really behind. Um, But yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to June yet however would it be great yes um but I know for a freaking fact I'm gonna need some more of this so I may have to before work go grab some more of this color which I hope they have I might look it up before I go light jasmine and I really want to make it to June because I really want to introduce the new color, which is like 
90s is scary <laughs> but yeah um i'm gonna go um i might put a time lapse on of me working on it i was trying to do that last night but then my husband um i was laying with my husband so you know drew so yeah that's the plan for today sorry i'm so tired i got my iced coffee i made it at home save money the sugar went all the way to the bottom sorry great all right all right i'll catch y'all up in a little second guys i have my little setup here you can't really tell Ooh, y'all can't really tell but i got my yarn over here with my paper that says what day and what temp it was got my scissors over here as well um i have to do a total of five rows of this pink color for may ignore the tight tension in the very first row um i upped a hook size since then so yeah all right my husband did not help me measure i think he probably just forgot but he did not measure my neckline and so i don't know about that for one of the dresses but I mean, it's not due within two months, so, yeah. And I found all the patterns on Etsy. Um, I may, if that first dress pattern don't work right, I'll probably look up a YouTube tutorial for that because I'm very good at YouTube tutorials most of the time. So, yeah. Um... I want to, while I have the temperature blanket um, already out, I know this is random, but I want to do kind of like my six month uh, reflection on here. Okay. Um, if y'all did not know and y'all are new here, I am making a king size temperature blanket for my very first full year of being married. I didn't start in August because I wasn't going back to crocheting in August. I went back to crocheting around September and I had my first market on in October. So, and also at that time I was really against temperature blanket. I saw Cameron's Cute Creations do it for her marriage, her one year marriage. And I was like, I really liked her color scheme and I'm doing one starting from January. It's going to have like, it's going to go past our one year because it's going to be a full year. But I chose a king size blanket so me and my husband can actually use it. Um, I always really thought temperature blankets weren't really like practical. And also I thought that they would just be too much of a challenge to me. Um, but that's what literally this year is for, is to push my limits, better my crocheting, and crochet more for myself. That's why I'm thinking about crocheting four outfits for my one year marriage anniversary. Like, that's why, because I like to push myself, even though I got less than two months, um, it's going to be a little bit rough. However, I think we can make it through. And I'm very confident in the roses part to remake my wedding bouquet. But I don't know about the other flowers. If I remember, I will put... I will put a picture in of me on my wedding day with my bouquet. Um, it was gorgeous, more than I could never do. I really didn't just want like a white bouquet. I wanted something incorporated with the colors of the wedding. I didn't want too much purple. I didn't want too much blue. It was an even mix. But I also wanted white because it would match the dress and also of another reason because my grandmother, 
um, on my mom's side really loved roses and I literally miss her every single day. She is probably one of, every single time I crochet, I think about her um, or am reminded of her because she used to watch me crochet and she um, was a fan of me and my husband's relationship, even though she didn't make it. She died like a year in. So in our honeymoon phase. But she said something really sweet to my my now husband and he'll never forget it. Um, and I'll never forget it. But also like she was my role model with a relationship even though not everybody is perfect. I don't know some of the bad stuff. Um, she is my role model for my religion. She's my role model for a relationship. And my pop, my grandfather is also a role model for my relationship. Like, um, I am very, very blessed to have my husband that cooks and who helps cleans because I saw my grandparents do that while they were there. And also they made it work with their finances. And it makes me think about even if you re don't really have that much money, you can make it work. Um as much as you can and make sacrifices so that that's just like I miss my grandmother and I wanted her in my wedding so I had pictures of all that I've lost except for one on in a picture frame and had it in a seat and had three white roses to go on each seat and I made a point in my ceremony to have me place my father hold the white roses because it was not part of my bouquet, but he handed them to me after he, for a second and I would put it down because that would be me intentionally wanting them there, you know, like I'm, I miss them so much, but yeah, it was just basically out of respect and acknowledging them that I wish that they would, they could be there. Um, and my DJ, unknowingly, but it was amazing. I think he played one of the songs that says you should be here. And that fit perfect because um, when I was getting ready, my mother gifted me my grandmother's um, ring. One of her rings she had in her collection. And I keep it on a necklace. Um, I wear it on very important days or if I want to dress up. Um, I have to keep it off to the side because it will get tangled up and I'm trying to take the best care of it because it's like real and sometimes I'll put my engagement ring on with it. Yeah. No, that's a lie. Not my engagement ring. It's got my Hawaiian flower pinned on because it's connected to the necklace that I bought for myself when I went to Hawaii for my first ever close to out of state, like out of the nearby vicinity. No, my second trip out of the outside vicinity of Washington and stuff like that. North Carolina, South Carolina. It was my first ever cruise, so I bought that necklace for it. And so it's got a lot of memories on that necklace. And if I was to ever lose it, I would probably cry. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put a time lapse on. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. And I'll see y'all guys in a minute. Guys, we were at $1.99 last night, but I just checked my YouTube. We're at 201 subscribers. Yes! I'm so happy. I'm so, 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 so happy. Thank you, guys. Um, I don't know... 
longer be doing it for the giveaway. But please leave it down below a comment if you would rather want a plushy gift card or it, it can be Etsy gift card, um, plushy gift card or yeah. Please comment down below if you would rather have a plushie or gift card because that's basically my two options. So thank you so much. Um, probably will post a giveaway either later on in this video or in the next video. Like, let's see. But thank you so so much, guys. Um, still working on this blanket. But I had to stop for a minute and say thank you because my mind is just blown and my heart is full. Thank you so much. We reached our goal. Now we just got to keep growing. All right. I'll see y'all guys in a little bit. Right, guys i'm gonna crochet while i talk to y'all because i'm about to end this video um i want to announce first that i will be hosting a giveaway um the giveaway will have a time for you to enter um about two weeks um uh, because that's mostly when my prime time watch is so i'm giving y'all a chance so yeah, I have decided while I was crocheting that I am going to be giving away an elephant or a cow, which is going to be a sitting cow. If you have watched my whip video, you have seen me working on my elephant, um, the gray elephant. And I am going to be starting to make cows as well. I'm just working on this temperature blanket so I can get caught up more on it. But um try and think. I think it's Jenny's, I think it's the same creator with the elephant. So um if you want to be entered in that giveaway, um, please comment down below and answer a few questions. Um, you have to be at least 18 to enter because I had a middle schooler last time enter my giveaway and you cannot like know that that created such diversity and uh, no, we're not gonna do that. You have to be 18, you have to be in the US. This is a US only um, giveaway because I cannot ship, afford to ship my products across the sea. I just can't. So you got to Follow my Instagram. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube. And comment a purple heart. And let's see what will be... I'm trying to make this off the ball because I want to be fun this time. I want to be interactive with you guys. What is something that you... What is your favorite animal? There we go. Let's... Let's say your favorite animal. Like, for example, mine's an elephant. I love elephants. So, if you will leave a purple heart, comment your favorite animal, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, and sub make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube. And you'll be entered into the giveaway. You have to do, but you have to be at least 18 and be in the U.S. That's the only limitations I'm going to do but like I said again um you have two weeks to enter but you got to comment a purple heart comment your favorite animal follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube I and I say follow me on Instagram because I will know if you actually like I can't see on you too much. I can see some some of the usernames on YouTube, but I can't really see much about I can't really see it as much as I can on Instagram. Like I can look back and look at the list and look up your username. But it will be a spin the wheel like we did last time. Um 
And I'm going to let y'all know, if you win, you have a week to reply. I will give you my email or message me on Instagram. But you have a week to respond after the winner has been announced. Or we will pull again. So just let me know. All right. That is going to end it for today's vlog. Thank you for joining me. Um, I might end crocheting this temperature blanket about at around 1030. And I may like take a break, take a lunch, early lunch and work on a sitting cow because I really want to make that. But that is the plan for today. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Thank you for following along with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be entered in a giveaway, please do what I have already stated about three or four times what to do. And I believe there should be a link to my Instagram in the bio. So, yeah. And I am so glad that we are building this community over here. Thank you for 200 subscribers. I think we're above 200 subscribers now. And I will see y'all guys next time. Bye.